It is a beautiful day on the top of Hans Railway. Thomas is currently delivering some passengers on his branch line. Fergus is shunting some trucks. But poor Henry's brakes are malfunctioning, so he's currently in a runaway train. A tree in the forest fell on the track and a danger sign was posted. This didn't matter though because Henry couldn't even stop. <laughs> poor Henry laid down in a mess of his own cars and it was a while before anybody could come get him. But eventually Edward came to his aid. His driver looked him over. Well, old boy, looks like we can't pull that freight train tomorrow. I guess I better let that fat controller know. Gosh, he's so freaking fat. The next day, Gordon and Big City Engine were just cooling it in the rail yard. You know, Gordon, your fat controller is very fortunate to have me visiting this railway. Huh, why's that? Because I'm such a classy, famous engine, so Topham Hat might even have me pull the express. There's no way I'm more famous than you around here, and besides, I always pull the express. Oh, come now, Gordon. They see you all the time. They'll see me and think, oh, wow, a new engine. I can't wait for him to pull my train. Yeah, yeah, in your dreams, big city engine. Then as if by magic, the fat controller appeared. Hello, my engines. As you might know, Henry got in an accident yesterday, and that's bad, because he has a freight train to pull. So, Gordon, I'm going to need you to pull it. But, but sir, uh, I was going to pull the express today. Not anymore, Gordon. Uh, I need you to take the train. Uh, this is crazy. Oh, Gordon, Gordon, I see, you see, I told you I'd pull the express. Don't worry, Fat Controller, I would be more than happy to pull the express for Gordon. Agreed. Besides, Big City Engine, this might be a chance for you to show off yourself. Well, I'm off now. See ya. See ya, Gordon. Gordon could not believe what he had just seen. A little while later, the Big City Engine was at the station, and then he saw Percy who was picking up some mail. He started chatting with him. I say, Percy, don't you think it was a good idea for me to pull this express? After all, I'm a very famous visitor, and I think that this would be good for the Fat Controller and his railway. <laughs> also, Gordon is seen every day, and, and you know, this is just such a splendid job. I mean, <laughs> only I could be able to do such an important thing. Let me just stop you right there, Big City Engine. Uh, I, I really just don't care. I'm very dirty right now. I, I have lots and lots of work to do. And, you know, that's great that you're pulling the express, but you're being quite a butthole about it. And I, and we don't like that. Also, you should really take in mind that our railway does have some hills. I don't know if your railway had that, but you need to be careful because the express is heavy and you can get stuck on it. Just then, the signal went up, which means that it was time for Big City Engine to go. I'm offended by what you said, little green caterpillar. You act like I've never pulled a passenger train before. Well, I'll show you. I'll show this whole darn railway. And just like that, Big City Engine puffed away. He is such an idiot. Big City Engine was making some great time. He was going quite fast. Up ahead, there was a bridge, and the bridge had a very steep incline leading up to it. Heavy trains would sometimes get stuck. Big City Engine tried his best, but it was no good. He got stuck on the hill. Oh, botherations! This is a terrible railway. How dare they make such a steep incline that I could get stuck on! Then, Gordon just so happened to pull up on the track underneath Big City Engine. He could see that he was stuck. Hello, Big City Engine. Are you stuck? N n no uh, I'm just enjoying the view. Uh-huh. Well, if you're enjoying the view, the passengers are gonna get late. Uh, fine! I'm stuck, okay? And I need to get going. Yeah, yeah, Big City Engine. I'll come and help you. But don't get me wrong. This is not for you. This is for the passengers who need to get there on time. So Gordon took his train and put it on a nearby siding. He then went forward and switched onto Big City Engine's line and then reversed up and coupled up to him. While the rescue operation was going on, there were some engines that passed by underneath. Such as Thomas. Ha ah, you suck, Big City Engine. And then Oliver. Ha ah, you suck, Big City Engine. Ha ah. ha. Big City Engine was very, very embarrassed. After pulling Big City Engine back on the bridge, Gordon went and retrieved his train. And then Big City Engine also left. The next day, Big City Engine and Gordon were in the rail yard. Ha, ah, I gotta say, Big City Engine, it was pretty cool showing you up yesterday. 
I guess it goes to show you can't be too arrogant, huh? I... I don't know what to say. Except... I don't care! I'm still famous! I will prove myself another day! Then the fact controller magically appeared again! Congratulations, Gordon, on getting the express there on time. Big City Engine, I'm disappointed in you. I thought you'd do better. Now you will do Henry's work tomorrow while Gordon takes the express. Oh, thank you, sir, said Gordon. Ah, well, Big City Engine, looks like you got a new chance to work now. But I get to it. Oh, no. <laughs>